to the exodus, the city feels deserted. Then it's the intercity bullet trains that are taking the strain, moving tens of thousands of people to the south, where they think it's safe. Children are particularly vulnerable to the effects of radiation, so families are especially keen to get out. What was it that finally made you think it was time to leave Tokyo? No. In the last few days, the government has looked more and more desperate. We're more worried for the children than ourselves, so we decided to leave. Driving through streets this empty feels very strange in a city that's usually so crowded. People here don't believe their own prime minister anymore. How can he tell them Japan is safe when America joins a growing list of countries starting to extract its citizens? On Channel 4 News last night, the Prime Minister's spokesman said it was unnecessary. It's uh, difficult uh, for us to understand uh, the reason behind uh, uh, that kind of uh, uh, behaviour. People are flooding into places like Kyoto, trying to escape from a threat that they cannot see, one that they don't know for sure really exists, but one that is so frightening they don't dare take the risk. Sumiko Khan quickly packed up and moved into a Kyoto hotel. From a generation who remember the atomic bomb attacks on Japan, she has a particular fear of radiation. This time, so many lives were lost in the tsunami, but it was instant. With radiation, you suffer forever, so radiation is more frightening. Long queues for petrol stop people heading south as fast as they like. But anyone who really believes that they are in danger in Tokyo will do what it takes to get away. More than 450,000 Japanese remained in emergency shelters today with supplies running short. And there were new accounts of harrowing escapes from the tsunami. Carl Dinan reports on one such story filmed by a Japanese TV crew. These are the decisions that keep you alive. Stay in the car or run for it. They run, telling the driver to do the same. Keep running or find shelter. They find the building, the water pooling at their feet now. 